Copy these six items into A, B, C, and D. They represent the tasks that need to be done, start date, duration, and end date. Click on Chart, Create a Chart, Bar, because the Gantt chart is a bar chart, and you want the second one here. Click on Select Data, and Add. The series name is known as Start Date. Click on Series Values, highlight the start dates, hit OK. Click on Add again, create a new series. This one is known as Duration. Click on Series Values. Highlight the duration, and these are in days. Click OK. Click OK here. And you now have the beginning of a Gantt chart. First thing you want to do is to remove the legend. So just highlight it and delete it. Right click on that axis. What you're looking for is something that says Format Axis. Click on that. Go to the box that said Categories in Reverse Order. Close, and it will reverse the order. Now to get rid of the blue, you just go to the blue color, right click, go down to Format Data, and then go to the option for Fill, click on No Fill, go to the option for Border Color, and click on No Line, and when you close it, the blue disappears, and you've got your regular Gantt chart. Now, go to your first Start Date cell, right click, Format Cells is the one you want to pick, and when it comes up, hit the category General. It will give you the number that Excel uses to correlate to that date, the 1st of September, 41153. And then we'll go to this axis, right click, find Format Axis. Then you put in on the minimum value that number 41153. And you change the major unit to 7. And that's it. That's how to create a Gantt chart using Excel. It's not as sophisticated uh, as regular Gantt charts, but it's enough to show that you've organized a class project.